Hi, today we are going to demonstrate endoscopic ultrasound finding in a patient with suspected chronic pancreatitis. This patient is having pain abdomen recurrent episode for last three years. So we are going to perform EUS in this patient. In this patient, we will focus on imaging of pancreatic duct. We will explain a simple method to focus directly on the pancreas. First, we enter inside the stomach our scope is in proximal stomach so on the left side if you see the endoscopic image on the left side is the greater curve on the right side is the lesser curve anteriorly is anterior wall posteriorly is the posterior wall of stomach pancreas lies close to that angle and we know that pancreas is posterior to posterior gastric wall so near that angle if we rotate scope clockwise through the posterior gastric wall we can see the pancreas here we can see pancreas with dilated duct so we want to rule out any obstructing lesion like stone stricture or mass inside the pancreatic duct this central anechoic structure is pancreatic duct we can see our arrow is on the pancreatic duct here we can appreciate that pancreatic duct is falling down it indicates that we are close to junction of neck and head of pancreas from this location if we take a clockwise sweep by our left hand we can go towards pancreatic body and tail here we can see pancreatic duct dilated left kidney indicate junction of pancreatic body and pancreatic tail if we rotate scope further clockwise we can see pancreatic tail region below pancreatic tail we can see spleen pancreatic duct is not much dilated in tail region it's dilated more in neck region and body region in this patient next is evaluation of pancreatic head for that we have to go in first part of duodenum from antrum we can see gallbladder is distended in this patient so we have to rule out biliary obstruction in this patient so we go across the pylorus into first part of duodenum that's pyloric ring we go along the upper lip of pyloric ring and enter inside the first part of duodenum sometime in patient with chronic pancreatitis duodenum is deformed and it's a tricky to enter duodenum here we can see duodenal lumen so we go to junction of first and second part of duodenum and use the up knob to oppose the probe with the duodenal wall from here we can see a dilated structure that is portal vein we can see flow inside the portal vein and we can see an echoic structure near the probe that's a bile duct if we rotate scope clockwise from this position we will go towards lower part of bile duct and we can see pancreatic head part of pancreatic head is seen here and we can see another an echoic structure which is rising in pancreatic head this anechoic structure is pancreatic duct we can see our green arrow over the pancreatic duct and we can see here pancreatic duct is going vertically up next we enter inside second part of duodenum we go close to papilla and suck all the air and fluid inside the duodenal lumen then we use the up knob to touch the probe with the duodenal mucosa after that first rotate scope anti clockwise then give a clockwise torque with the clockwise torque we can see two large vessels one vessel is close to probe other is slightly away from the probe the vessel which is close to probe is ivc and from ivc if we rotate scope clockwise we can see iota so here we can see ivc and iota ivc is in upper part and iota 
iota in lower part of screen from iota if we pull back scope slightly 5 to 10 mm and rotate scope clockwise we can see part of pancreas here we can see pancreatic uncinate process so we can see part of pancreas with anechoic structure inside so we will study these structures in detail one by one here our scope has fallen back inside stomach sometimes it's difficult to keep scope in second part of duodenum so we will go again in second part of duodenum from junction of first and second part we pull back that will take us towards second part of duodenum again we can see a vessel this is iota from iota if we rotate scope clockwise we can see pancreatic head now close to probe we can see a anechoic structure which is horizontal likely to be bile duct if we rotate scope clockwise from bile duct we should see another duct that is pancreatic duct so here we can see a dilated pancreatic duct and we had a very good finding here that we will discuss in detail here we can see bile duct here we see an anechoic structure running parallel to probe this structure is bile duct so once we rotate scope clockwise from bile duct we should see pancreatic duct in this patient when we are rotating clockwise we don't see any ductal structure further clockwise torque now we can see there is some ductal structure so we can see union of two ducts one duct is duct of uncinate from left side which is joining with the main pancreatic duct on the right side and they are forming a larger duct and which is ascending vertically and opening at the minor papilla so the main duct is not opening at major papilla it's opening proximal to major papilla at minor papilla again this is bile duct opening at major papilla if i rotate scope clockwise we don't see any ductal structure further clockwise we can see now two ductal structures which are joining forming a larger duct and it's passing through the minor papilla again we can see union of two ducts which is rising vertically please see this area carefully again bile duct and rotate clockwise no duct further clockwise union of two ducts forming a larger duct which is ascending vertically and going through the minor papilla and we can see even the duct close to minor papilla is dilated so this suggests this patient has likely pancreas division as main duct is opening separately at minor papilla now the next step is to trace the duct opening at minor papilla to pancreatic body and tail here we can see this duct is horizontal duct and it's a close to probe so that anechoic structure close to probe is common bile duct from common bile duct when we rotate scope clockwise we see another anechoic structure again we see union of duct of uncinate and the another pancreatic duct which is forming a duct which is opening at the minor papilla to confirm the diagnosis of pancreatic division we have to trace the duct opening at minor papilla towards pancreatic body and tail region so here we can see it's a pancreatic duct which is opening at minor papilla so to trace this duct towards pancreatic body and tail we have to give a clockwise torque and gently pull out the scope here we can see duct is dilated and there is sludge and stone inside the duct when 
semi rotate scope clockwise we can see linear vascular structures which are smv and sma indicating that we have reached pancreatic body here we can see smv clockwise torque we can see sma and duct is dilated in pancreatic body region if we rotate further we can see that we are going towards pancreatic tail region that's the spleen indicating that we have reached up to pancreatic tail region so we have traced the duct from minor ampulla to the pancreatic tail which confirms diagnosis of pancreas division next video we will demonstrate how to do endotherapy of pancreas division if you like the video please subscribe the channel like the video and you can leave your comment in comment box below thanks for watching this video